Sing, O Muses, of the strong-armed goddess, whose love for her people was the envy of all, for her city could not be conquered while under the protection of her steadfast shield and mighty spear. And so her people prospered greatly and loved her in return, singing songs to her honor and leaving gifts and offerings at her temple in thanks. But a goddess is not immune to the lure of power, and she soon felt the sting of pride that had been the destruction of so many others. Not satisfied with the simple devotion of her own people, she desired more followers and greater tribute, and so sent armies out to fight wars in her name. Angry with her pride and unending greed, the people turned away from her one by one. Without their faith to sustain her, the goddess's power and influence faded, and her once glorious temple fell into ruin and decay. And now the invaders who had been kept at bay by the goddess's strength drew ever closer until they brought the battle to the great city itself. In her anger and pain, the goddess turned her back on those who had abandoned her, resolving to protect only herself in the ruins of her temple. But the icy bitterness in her heart could not keep her from hearing the screams of fear and cries for help, and the goddess wavered, unable to leave her people to their destruction. And so the goddess picked up her spear and shield, and gathering the last of her power, she strode out to the battlefield to protect her people from the advancing army. The battle that followed raged for days, but in the end, using the last of her power and strength, the goddess emerged victorious against the invading army. Without the strength to take another step, she dropped to her knee in the dust and blood, and the last of her life faded, leaving behind a cold marble statue. Sing, O muses, of the strong-armed goddess, whose love for her people was her death, but not her end for her story cannot be forgotten while we live to tell it. <laughs>